Well, this is a survey of the work of Mike Nelson, a British artist in his mid-50s. It's called Extinction Beckons, and that slightly ominous title gives you a clue that Mar Mike's vision is at times a dark vision. There are things here that um, hint of disaster, decay, violence perhaps sometimes, and his world that he alludes to is very much a world of people who live outside the mainstream of contemporary culture. You know, he's someone who makes works that are almost like film sets. And you wander from one location and environment to another. As you open a door, you go into another one. Um, and you have to invent the script for that film. There's no narrative, but every time you walk into one of those rooms, you feel like the people who were there have just left. And so in a way, it's a, it's a haunted house because there are ghosts of all these people, whether they are laid off factory workers, Gulf War veterans, sweatshop laborers, gamblers, cultists. You'll run across all of them as you go through this exhibition. Mike only uses scavenged materials that he finds in flea markets, uh, online sales, dumpsters in the street. So every object has a history to it. It's been used. And so again, this sense of the presence of a ghost, right? These objects have their own stories. And the exhibition begins actually with a group of works, a, a dismantled installation of his, and you're looking at what it looks like in storage. And in storage, it doesn't look anything like the work of art anymore. But yet walking through and looking at all these old doors and bureaus and pieces of furniture and bits and bobs, each one tells a story. On the one hand, Mike is someone who looks at some of the darker sides of our society. Um, on the other hand, his work has a kind of ingeniousness to it, his, the way he puts objects together to create beautiful sculptures sometimes, or to create these completely lifelike environments. Um, and so it has that power of art to transport us and to kind of inspire our imaginations. <laughs> 